The Nokia 7.1 Unboxing, hands-on and full software tour after my intro. Welcome everyone, I'm Techzilla. I'm back again with the lovely Nokia 7.1. Spoiler, if you don't want to hear this, close your ears. Lovely device, £299. You know I'm a flagship guy, but this phone, this little phone really impressed me. I've got to be honest with you. I've had it for a while. I should have done the unboxing earlier, but I haven't had time. A um, little bit of a disclaimer, I have used the phone. It is already set up. I'll put it back in the box so you can do a nice unboxing for you. But let's have a quick look around here. It's an Android One device, means you'll get two years of major firmware updates and three years of security patches pure stock Android so you can see that further reconfirmed here up to date secure always in Nokia and it says pure there so nice very nice a little bit of specs here it is a 3000 milliamp hour battery in this device so not the biggest but we'll get to that in a bit it's a pure display 5.8 inch it's actually 5.84 inches so it's a little bit bigger than what it says here. 19 by nine aspect ratio, full HD plus. It is a really nice screen. I think it's um, HDR10 on this. So we'll get into that in a bit. HDR video with high contrast, vibrant colors. 12 megapixel and five megapixel dual cameras on the back, Zeiss Optics, top name in lenses and cameras. It's got an eight megapixel wide angle front camera, which is fantastic if you want to take a group selfie. Advanced AI imaging, dual site camera mode plus live streaming. Now it's got a Snapdragon 636, which I think is a very good chip because it's a perfect blend between power and efficiency. So this is actually something, I think this is a device that most people don't need more than this, what this will give you. I really feel that, I don't, People often think, oh, I need a thousand pound phone. You really don't, you really don't. But, you know, I'm just representing, I'm giving you my opinion. I'm giving you some facts, obviously, what I'm reading off here. So let's open this up. The phone is already switched on, because I have been using it. And there you have it. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. Take the phone out, it should. We'll show you that in a sec. Let's put that to one side. SIM ejection tool. Quick start, not start, Nokia guide, which I'm not gonna get into because let's be honest, no one cares. The model I have here is a three gig RAM, 32 gig of built-in storage. You can get a four gigabyte RAM version uh, with 64 gigs if you spend a little bit more. But as I said, this is the £299 version. So let me show you what you get in the box. Let's take everything out first. There we go. Chuck that down there. Fast charging power brick to charge that 3000 milliamp hour battery. Nice that they included a fast charging brick in here. Apple, you could learn a lesson. This phone is 299 and you couldn't put in a fast charging brick. Just saying. Some headphones with a 3.5 mil jack on them. They don't look particularly spectacular, to be honest. It's all right for a freebie pair. Reminds me of the really old school Blackberry headphones you used to get. Chuck them out of the way. And a USB type C charging cable. Very nice. The sides are aluminium. I believe it's a series 6000 um, aluminium, something you use in aircraft. Very sort of flat, matte blue color there. I actually really like that look. I really do like it. You've got chamfered edges here. So it's a nice contrast. That silver detailing with that matte blue color looks really nice. Single SIM, it's also expandable. So you can use an SD card in here up to 400 gigs 
which you probably need because this particular one's only got 32 gigs of storage in it. You've got a microphone on the top in the antenna band, a 3.5 mil headphone jack, way. Power button, volume rockers on this side. They're also chamfered as you can see, just like the edge here and the back edge here. So really nice attention to detail I feel. Microphone at the bottom, USB-C charging port, single button firing speaker, This it is only a single speaker. There's your dual cameras at the back, you can see there. Fingerprint reader, bit of Nokia branding, bit of Android One branding there and some other whatever. It is a glass back phone, so it does feel a lot more elegant. Let me just show you the edges here. You see how the edge of the glass kind of curves a tiny bit? It makes it feel very premium almost. It hard to explain what I mean, but it does feel premium. It's not heavy foam. It feels really comfortable to hold in hand, if I'm completely honest with you. It has gone always on display, kind of. It's a lift to raise kind of display. So if I leave it, if I put it down, let it go off, there we go. And if I lift it up, okay, it didn't do it, there we go, there we go. So, not bad. Fingerprint sensor I've already set up, so let's test the speed. Three, two, one. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. We'll try it again, three, two, one. So it's pretty nippy. This is a wallpaper that already comes on the device. Well, within the wallpaper suite it has on here. I've used it because obviously there's a notch there. This helps hide that notch. So let me just show you, let me go through some of this because show you some of the, what's on here. Typical stock Android look there. Swipe up to get to these. Uh, let's call this the baby pixel. You got your Google feed on this side. Obviously I haven't got any more things set up there. This is all customizable. You can remove all this stuff. I have got night mode switched on at the moment. I'll explain why in a minute. Your typical buttons there for back, home, and recent apps. There is a fairly large chin on the bottom. You can see it there with a bit of Nokia branding. Now, honestly, I <clears throat> I have to forgive it for that because it's 299 pounds. I I'd quite, I like the phone, or I'm gonna be honest, I like the phone. It feels really, it's got something about it, okay? Let's just put it that way. Pull down this, so you can see all the typical stock look there, okay? So you all know and recognize that. Go into here. Now the reason I've got night mode on is because it makes the screen less white and my camera reacts better to it. If I switched it off, my camera, everything around the phone goes like a yellow color. So I'm just giving you an explanation why. So let's go through you can see that little thing there telling you that. There's that notch, you can see it better now. You have got a, that single wide selfie camera there, earpiece and a sensor in there. So let's go through here, okay. I'll just show you some of this stuff, some of it I'll talk about. Wi-Fi I've got switched off because I don't want to get notifications during this. So your usual stuff there, nothing super special. So reset Wi-Fi, mobile and Bluetooth, which we're not gonna do here. Connected devices, I'll just show you that. Standard, I don't wanna bore you guys. Apps and notifications, so it shows you recently opened apps and you can see all 35 apps on here, so I can go into it. It'll show you what apps I've got on here. I'm not gonna get into that too much. You don't need to know what apps I have on here. Sorry if you can hear motorbikes and all that outside. I live by a main road, I can't help it. Uh, app permissions, we all know what that is. Advanced, let's click on that. Now you can set your default apps. So if you didn't want Chrome as your default browser, you could use Samsung internet, download that and use it instead of Chrome. So that's a nice little touch there. Um, battery, now you're not gonna believe this, but I'll tell you anyway. It's a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Now, genuinely, I switched this on. I didn't put a SIM card in it. I thought I'd test the Wi-Fi. With it just switched on, Wi-Fi enabled, nothing switched off in terms of notifications and so on. With all that, 
five days, 22 hours, 36 minutes, and I've still got 32%. I don't believe that. The reason I'm saying it is, it's it's got to be cycled through to give be more accurate. So take that with a pinch of salt. I mean, the battery's not bad, but it's not that good. No chance. You got battery saver, so you can turn that on. See how that went all red? To tell you battery saver switched on. That's quite nice, I like that. Background activity manager. So we're going to here. So enable the background activity manager to extend the battery life while this is enabled. Some app stroke email notifications may not be retrieved instantly. You can manage the battery life by adding apps to or removing them from the blacklist. So background activity cleaner. So blacklist, switch it on. It stops it running in the background, which is pretty nice. Uh, sleep, we all know what that is. So I'll leave it on 30 seconds. Ambient display. So lift to check phone, which is what I just showed you at the beginning. And new notifications will light up the screen if you select that. I haven't selected it because I get a lot of them and I don't want that to keep coming on. It shows you app usage since full charge. 3%, 1%, it shows you. I'm out of that. It's going to display. Now brightness level, obviously we know what that is. It's got auto brightness as well. So it shifts up and down. Night light, now. Let me show what I was talking about earlier why I've got night light switched on. You watch the color around here, what happens in the color of my hands. Okay, I'll switch it off. You see how everything's gone yellow around here? It's because the camera's trying to compensate for this bright white light. This is on 50% brightness and look at it. It's a good quality panel, this. So I'm switching it back on and normal service has resumed. And you can adjust this intensity of the night light as well. So I can put it down. I can put it up fully. I won't go that far up, about there. So you, it's, even though it's stock Android, you have got a nice little bit of stuff there. Uh, adaptive brightness, that's what I was talking about. See, so optimize brightness level for available light. Wallpapers, let's show you some of the wallpapers here. So these are on device wallpapers. <clears throat> Let's have a look through here. So you, can, you get an idea of what sort of wallpapers are on that come on the device. So you can see, click on that. I'm not gonna go through all of them right now. So come out of this. Advanced, now enhanced HDR10. And this is something that's very special. When you consider the price of this device, this display is HDR10 compatible. So on Netflix, anything that's got HDR content, this will show it at its true beauty. 1080p admittedly, full HD+, but it's HDR10 compliant. It'll also increase anything that's in non-HDR10 and scale it up to HDR10. So that is a real nice little thing Nokia have done there. Let's bring that in closer so you can see that. Look at this image, let me switch this off. I don't know if the camera picks it up. <clears throat> Try that again. No, the camera, my camera, you can see it goes a little bit there. It's difficult to show on the camera. But enhances contrast and sharpness for normal photos, games and videos. Really nice feature that. I've got to take my hat off to Nokia for that. Sleep after 30 seconds of it, that's a screen timeout. Auto rotate screen. Font size, display size. Now let's see what this is all about. Oh yeah, we all know what this is. Screen saver, ambient display, new notification. We've already looked at this. Okay. So tap to wake, double tap anywhere on the screen to wake the device. So it's got double tap to wake, which is, I know a lot of you will ask me that. Sound, also vibrate for calls. I don't know, I've got ringtone volume down. Um, do not disturb preferences. So you can adjust those. So if you're going to bed at a certain time every day, 
you can switch this on, it'll stop any calls or things coming through. I'm not gonna go into the ringtones, advanced. So Nokia ringtone, default notification sound, default alarm sound. You can also have sound on for your dial pad tones, screen locking sounds, touch sounds, vibrate on tap and emergency alerts. It's got a really good vibration motor in this. For an Android device, it's pretty good. It feels substantial, feels substantial. Storage, now, as I said, this is only this one only comes with 32 gigs of storage. It's used 12.88 gigs of that 32 gigs already. And so it's pretty much out of the box. I haven't got that much on there. Photo and video is 0.12 gigs. Music and video, 0 0.04 gigs. Games, nothing. Uh, other apps, 2.5 gigs. So I'd say probably comes with a third of its storage already used up on a 32 gig. Maybe around 30% something like that, possibly 33%, gives you an idea. Uh, security and location, I'm not gonna get into that too much, but you can see that for yourself. User accounts, accessibility, don't need to see that. Let's go into system. So obviously I've got Gboard because it's a stock Android device, gestures. Automatic date and time, use network provided time. Automatic time zone, use 24 hour format. Let's go into gestures now. So turn over to reject a call, mute on pickup, swipe fingerprint for notifications. So let's see this, let's switch that on. Let me give that a quick go now. Oh. Pretty nice there, I like that. You see, it's little things like that, that I like about his phone. Jump to camera, on. So you double tap the power button twice, and it launches a camera. Lift to check phone, I've got that switched on. Let's switch all these on actually. Come out of that, and mute. Switch that on, there we go. Uh, backup on, you know all this stuff. I'm not gonna get into all this. Android update. So it's a Android version 8.1. First of September security patch. Android Pi is coming in a few weeks, according to Nokia. Uh, reset ne network options, etc. I'm not gonna get into all that. So that was all the settings you have here. Let's go into the camera, give you an idea of the camera and so on, what you have. So, let's go for all this. You've got square, so it takes a square style photograph. Panorama, so you can do a sort of long landscape. Live bokeh, which is nice because you can adjust, let's try actually. Can you see the table behind it's a little bit blurred out? So let's bring in something like that. Give it, see it's blurring out the box a bit. Depth success. Oh, I'm trying to do this like an idiot. Oh, there we go. So I can adjust how much blur I have in the background. So I'll whack it back up. So that's nice. Pretty nice. You got pro mode. So you got AWB auto, auto, ISO auto, everything set auto. So white balance, focus mode. IOS, shutter speed, exposure compensation. Not bad, you see what I'm saying about 299 pound phone? Come out of that. Oh, should have done that. There we go. So that was promo, this is normal photo. So pretty good, it took the picture pretty fast. See, you can hardly tell. Now you've got video as well. Uh, let's go, you can uh, here, you can live stream to YouTube, which is a lovely little touch there. You got your camera flash, single person, dual, picture in picture. So I can have it fight. You know what, let me try it. What the hell? So you can have both cameras, sorry, front and back going at the same time. 
got it. You can see me there filming. You can see that. That's the ceiling. Horrible Artex rubbish. Anyway, come, let me go back in here. You can have picture in picture. So you can have that front image smaller there and the back image bigger. Come out of that. Go back into single. Click on this. So you can also do this stuff. So these different effects and so on. So you can put panda face or whatever. It has to have a face there to really do it, I suppose. Google Lens, it recognizes something that you point the camera at and it will try and find it for you on the internet. Okay, slow motion. So you've got slow-mo as well. What is this, is this still that? Yeah, it's still Google Lens. So you've got slow-mo and you've also got time-lapse. So if we go into here, shutter sound, grid, location tag, forget about that, resolution, so rear camera video, you can have ultra HD 4K, 4K for 299, see? Full HD 1080p, HD 720p, you can see for yourself, I don't need to go on at you. Let's put it on 4K actually. Front camera, 1080p, 720, SD, blah, 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 blah. 18 by nine, full HD. Not bad, not bad at all. Live broadcast account, so you can live broadcast to Facebook and YouTube. That's pretty good if you're a bit of a vlogger, pretty good. And reset all settings, I'm not gonna do that. Let's actually just have a look at the photo I took. It's not a bad photo, it's pretty detailed. Look at the box, you can see all the dimples in the box there. Not bad. If you want me to do a full camera test on this, I will do it. Let's pull that up. So you've got auto, so you can adjust it. You've got different filters over it. See, not that's not bad. Look, look at that shot. Looks pretty artistic. I can rotate it. Anyway, that's enough, guys. I've been bleeding on like crazy. But there you have it. That is the Nokia 7.1. I absolutely think this is a lovely device, bit of a camera hump, I don't care. For the price, you'd be hard pressed to find anything better. I'd say it's probably contender for best phone in that price category of 2018. Very comfortable to hold in hand, very ergonomic. It's a sort of phone. It's like, even though it's glass, it's kind of like a soft touch to it feels warm in hand. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I'm, it's impossible to explain what I'm talking about, but look at that. Very nice, I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Is anything you want me to test on this phone when I do my review, when I do my camera tests, anything you want me to compare it to? I've got an um, Honor 8X. I've also got the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments. Anything you need to know, ask away. I will try and answer as soon as I can. Obviously, I have things other than YouTube in my life, so I'm not always at my computer or looking at my notifications. But Nokia 7.1, Android 1. So far, I really like it. It, they've done an update on it since the launch and it's made it a different device in my opinion thumbs up subscribe bell notification icon this is Texella saying take care and peace